Hi, my name's Emma and I'm 32 years old. My occupation is firstly as a dancer and then a dance teacher and choreographer. Uh, I got involved in the industry through my mum introducing me to ballet at the age of four. Um, I went to see a ballet performance and wanted to join classes, which I did. It then uh, evolved into me training to become a contemporary dancer. Um, life kind of took a change after I left the, left the um, training. I found that when I graduated at the age of 19, I didn't have the maturity or the experiences that a contemporary company was looking for. So I found myself having to find other avenues to dance. I then went into the commercial side of dance as well as some street styles of dance. Um, my job role as a dancer is to keep fit, to keep training, to keep going to classes, to keep up to date with uh, what is popular and what is happening everywhere else in the world. Um, my task would be to partake in classes, whether they are technique classes or choreography classes. Uh, my work environment differs. It can either be in my own studio, which is a nice big space where I can come to choreograph, where I can get away from things and um, really think about what I want to do with my choreography. Uh, other places that I might uh, work would be in schools or at, um, I may even be called to birthday parties or weddings to perform, so it can be a whole lot of places. Uh, my employment type, I would have to say, would be full-time. So I'm always working because I work for myself um, and a lot of contract work. Uh, the, what I enjoy about my industry is really the creative side, being able to create, being able to make something that is me and then share it with other people and work with other people. Challenges involved would be probably, I guess, the letdowns over my career span of, say, wanting to be part of a company or a or a touring performance and perhaps not getting the job uh, which is and can be quite disheartening but then finding that life takes another turn and I find myself somewhere else which is cool. Uh, the training uh, I have would be first of all classical technique and then my degree in contemporary dance. Um, all the other training that I have done I have travelled overseas to work with um, different people and I've gone a lot to the countries where the particular dancers come from so I've gone to the, the roots of the style of dance. My personal characteristics um, are quite the opposite to what you would think a dancer might be. You'd probably think that a dancer would be quite outgoing and loud and uh, the rest of it, but I'm actually probably more of a person that sits down and observes what's going on around me. As soon as I get on stage, I do become somebody else. As soon as I teach, I become somebody else as soon as I'm in front of people. My career progression um, and so far has been all over the place. I have just really followed what has come up next. I find that if it's easy, it's meant to be. Um, not saying that I don't train hard, but uh, if I find myself doing something that I never thought I was doing, I um, am very grateful for it and continue with it. My future career plans would be to do, work with a whole lot of different people, different artists, and um, continue creating, really. Uh, the advice I have for people that perhaps want to get into this line of work would be to try different avenues. Um, focus most definitely on your technique is important for a dancer, 
but um, try other different styles of dance and other avenues because I've found to be a dancer and to maintain that I need to be in, in every pocket of the industry and up to date with what's popular. That doesn't go for being a contemporary dancer, but for a commercial dancer, I've found that um, that's what I've had to do.